Welcome, welcome to Face Palm Sunday, the segment on the internet where we respond to videos on the internet. Uh, today, we're going to be hit with some real hard truths. You're going to be hit with some oxymorons. You're going to be hit with a blazing contradiction. That's what this entire video that you're going to see uh, is. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And watching this video, I was just kind of like, question mark just popping off around my head. How does this happen? How does someone think like this? Uh, and I feel sorry for the people who think like this. I feel sorry for the people who are so demented in their logical ability to reason on how what they actually think completely contradicts and cancels each other's out and actually is a bad thing. Um, I apologize in this video if my words are cluttered because I'm not all there. Uh, by the way, Wendy's, Wendy's, I love a new sponsor. If you want to sponsor me, I'll fucking sponsor your goddamn motherfucking chicken nuggets. You guys have a, you guys have that sriracha dressing you have for your chicken nuggets is superb. I wake up every morning and I wonder which identity am I going to be killed for today? Yeah, me too. All the time. Uh, I wake up one day and I feel like, I, I feel like a rat. My identity today is a fucking goddamn rat. Cause I'm a ratty person. Uh, some days I wake up and I feel like a dog. Uh, then other days where I'm feeling really manly and I work out at the gym, I feel like a, my identity is identified with a fucking goddamn tank. Uh, and then there's days I just want to move and not avoid everybody, so, you know, my identity's an attack helicopter. Now, if you haven't gathered already, this guy here is gay. All the while being a proponent, someone who supports the religion of Islam and identifies with the religion of Islam and considers himself a Muslim who is gay and... But it doesn't take a super smart person to figure out why this may be a bit of a problem. How someone can ignore such a blatant oxymoron because Muslim, gay, and one would have to have a line of thinking which is literally, I'm going to read a religious textbook and ignore what it says to do to me. Because as of right now, the religion of Islam, uh, I believe, is the most dangerous, poisonous, toxic religion, hands down, in the world. I say that because Islam is not a religion of reformation. It's not a reformation, is that the right word? Like Christianity, for example, is constantly re being reformed to adjust to new things in our time. Like, I, I remember going to a church back in the day and the church advertised a video game night of playing Halo. But as time goes on and the generation and interests and things and culture changes, Christianity has to make change to reform to this world that we live in with new types of entertainment, with new types of technology, with new types of everything. So when I say Christianity is being, has been reformed over the years, it's constantly changing to fit the ideal of our culture and our environment to fit in. Whereas Islam, Islam's never done that. It refuses to never, it will, refuses, it will never do that. And the spread of Islam was only done through violence and fear and oppressing everybody who doesn't adhere to their ideology. Islam, as far as I'm aware, like I, I don't usually see stories of, of Christians in other countries throwing gay people off roofs. As far as I'm aware, I watched a video just a few days ago on LiveLeak of a 12 year old, um, his, his body was, you know, bent over uh, the truck bed, he took a knife, screaming Allah Akbar, and just sawed through his goddamn fucking neck all the way around his head, blood is everywhere, and pull- like, it's not fake, but I saw the- the, the actual live version, and I'm just thinking to myself, wow, <laughs> what a lovely religion to want to be a part of. Decapitating of goddamn fucking 12 years old, like, it just blows my mind. Islam is like one of the only religions currently ongoing that still is rampant in how it treats and degrades women and how it fucking kills every goddamn gay person in their goddamn country. You have Donald Trump tweeting, LGBT people, I'm here to protect you. But at the same time, he also says in the same tweet, we're gonna protect you from the people trying to kill you. So one part of me, he wants to protect and fight for me. But on the other side, he wants to ban me. Where does that leave LGBT Muslims? You realize that's kind of your own fault, though. You are choosing to be Muslim and gay, whereas your book specifically condemns the act of homosexuality of anyone. And I'm not even going to mention the Quran because there's so many verses in the Quran that specifically state that. You know, the difference between Islam and Christianity is going back to Reformation. Yeah, the Bible has a lot of vile things, but at least the Bible made up a second whole side of the book that rewrote history and basically said, those laws are invalidated and no longer are applicable. Whereas Islam is like, nope, we're gonna keep doing this, we're gonna keep practicing it all throughout 
Uh, as long as Islam's around, we're gonna keep throwing gay people off the roof because that's what we do. Yeah. You know, I hate the fact that I'm saying this, but Donald Trump actually has a little bit of rationality when it comes to how he views Islam. Do I like Donald Trump? No. But when he speaks anything about the goddamn religion of Islam, I can't help but give thumbs up. Muslims. Basically, it feels like my identities are being used against each other. Oh, really? Your identities are being used against each other? That's because they are against each other. It makes no logical sense why you would even say that when your identities are completely complete opposites. Completely, completely complete opposites. Wow, I'm good on my grammar today, aren't I? I think the term radical Islam is a term that's overused, but I also feel like it's a term that could be applied to any religion, any community. Dude, my brain is not all here today, but what you just said made no sense. Radical Islam can be applied to any community or religion. I'm assuming you meant that any type of radicalism can be applied to any community or religion, not radical Islam is applied to every religion, because typically I don't hear of Christian Muslims or like Christ, uh, Christian radical Muslims. Your wording here is just really confusing to me on how radical Islam equals other religions when it has nothing to do with Islam. I'm lost. What do they mean when they say radical Islamism? Who do they mean? You know, when I went to college, I was always told there's no such thing as a stupid question. And if I ever become a teacher, technically I kind of a little bit maybe titty bitty is, I mean, I talk on the YouTube and apparently sometimes I say intelligent things and sometimes I don't. So apparently maybe I can be educational to some people, but this is a stupid question. Utterly stupid. I don't think you could get asked such a question that could be any more stupid on the level of this stupid. What do they mean when they say radical Islam? What do you, what do you think they mean when they say radical Islam? Maybe the fact that people get their fucking a bomb blows up at a newspaper company because they depict Muhammad the pedophile in some degrading manner or they draw him in a way that parodies and makes fun of him with one fucking goddamn tooth out of his mouth. How about fucking people who go into gay nightclubs and slaughter people because they're gay? How about that video I watched on LiveLeak of a 12 year old getting his fucking head decapitated with a goddamn butter knife, literally, sawing through his fucking goddamn head and being pulled up and saying, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, and all fucking jumping, down, jumping up and down like crazy men. The fact of the matter is radical Islam is anything that doesn't agree with the ideals or ideology of Islam, and it doesn't even have to be radical Islam. They don't have to actually actively do something to radically believe in something. You can have radical beliefs and not act on those beliefs, but that's still a fucking radical Islam. Like, are you that stupid of a dumb cunt not to realize that that question that you're asking is completely showing the amount of ignorance that you have towards what people, uh, mu uh, terrorists, Muslims do when things don't are, uh, fall in line with how they think the world should be and act towards their religion? They're using this term um, to kind of comfort people in America that, look, we know what it is, it's radical Islamism, and we need to kill it, and we need to survey them, and we need to deport them. Now here's the thing that I'm going to do. I'm not going to talk about Islam or Muslims in the U.S. who are what are they called? I'm trying to think of the word. As they like to say it, not real true Muslims. Uh, I, I know that I'm using no sc true Scotsman fallacy here, but I'm, I'm saying this from the, the perspective of they don't practice their beliefs. They don't actually take their religion serious. They just call themselves Muslims because that's what they were born in. Therefore, yeah. Or then there's moderate Muslims who take their faith semi-seriously. And then there's the people who are radical. So we're talking about radical people here. We're not talking about moderates, and we're not talking about the people who just call themselves Muslims, though they really aren't. We're talking about radical people who do radical things. But kill it. Kill it. Kill radical Islam. You know, every time I hear of a terrorist attack of some sort, usually the Muslims kill themselves, so that's already pretty much done. Or if they don't kill themselves, we fucking kill them. I don't think that we've yet to take in any actually radical Muslims yet so far. Maybe, correct me if I'm wrong on that but we usually end up either shooting them or they kill themselves. Remember, they blow themselves up for Allah. I just wish we could fucking kill those fucking radical Muslims before they actually kill innocent people. Uh, the next thing you say is, um, think, Daniel, think. Surveying them, uh, surveying has done nothing. Uh, I think surveying is completely, utterly pointless in the fucking goddamn USA, simply because obviously being on the FBI watch list doesn't do anything. We've had countless people been on the FBI watch, watch list numerous different times, and then several years later, then they carry out a terrorist attack. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the, the attacker on um, the nightclub in Florida, that attacker was on the FBI watch list, I believe, twice or three times um, already, and look what he did. 
Uh, so surveying clearly doesn't really work in this country if we survey radical Islamists because that doesn't we don't do anything about it. We just let them go on their jolly way. Uh, and in terms of deporting them, uh, yeah, I don't think many people would disagree with if someone is is uh, pledging their self to ISIS uh, and we find out about that on your friends list or your Facebook or your friend um, is, you know, posting ISIS stuff all the time, probably you should probably report them. And uh, I believe that they should be deported. Anyone who is like radical in terms of Islam and wants to kill innocent people should be deported out of the fucking country. I'd rather have Justin Bieber continue to stay in the goddamn USA and not get deported back to Canada versus having Muslims who are radical getting deported because they want to fucking kill innocent people because they're goddamn gay. Deport the goddamn fucking radical Muslims. I don't think many people would disagree with me on that one. If you want to hurt and kill people because of your religion, you should be out of this goddamn country. When people use radical Islam, it just feels like the boogeyman. Interesting comparison. It's kind of like the boogeyman. But can you imagine if the boogeyman actually, like, had dominance over an entire nation? The boogeyman was extremely powerful and could tell his followers to do whatever he wanted to do and they would go out and do it and kill people in the name of his own ideologies. Like, imagine a boogeyman religion, right? Because the boogeyman doesn't exist, but the boogeyman could make his own religion and dominate and oppress people who don't believe exactly what he believes. Because, you know, that's what radical Islam is, right? It's just kind of like the boogeyman doesn't exist... People are always scared of it, and they should be. People should be scared of Islam. Being transgender in this day and time is rough, especially with everything going on, and being Muslim is also. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. You wouldn't trade it for the world. You wouldn't trade it for the world. Seems like you, my friend, have a lot of privilege. A lot of privilege that I'm sure other people would definitely trade for the world. I'm sure there are plenty of men in Syria Baghdad, Afghanistan, who would love to trade anything for the world to get out of their goddamn country because they're so terrified of being found out that they suck dick. You know, as you sit here and complain about, I'm a Muslim and I'm gay. Oh, woe is me, I'm so goddamn fucking oppressed. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'd love to see you walk down the streets in Afghanistan. You wouldn't last a goddamn fucking minute. You sit here in your cradle of power. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And you know, that's cool. That's cool that you wouldn't trade it for the world. But realize how much privilege you have, and that's not a thing that I say. I don't use the, the term privilege. But realize how much privilege you have in the USA where you can be an oxymoron, when you can be a Muslim and you can be gay, and you're not thrown off roofs. That you're not killed because of a fucking book. That you're not in a country which still adheres, still adheres to those books' teachings. You might not trade it for the world, but those people in Syria and in those Islamic countries that are being killed on a day-to-day -day basis for something that they can't help being gay, they would jump at the opportunity to be exactly where you are right now. And the hard thing about watching this video, despite me thinking this guy is a fucking idiot, despite him being completely against himself, and that's that's the hard thing, is seeing this video is seeing someone against themselves, so adamantly against themselves, and they don't even acknowledge, they don't even realize that they are against themselves. Because he is against himself because he's Muslim and gay, and you, it's such, it's, uh, it's so hard for, to see people like this who are so delusioned into their, their line of thinking that they can't see why this is an issue. Why they feel the way they do when you're against yourself because you're a part of a religion that condemns people who you are. Um... And you have the privilege in the U.S. to be that. Despite it contradicting one another, realistically, you have the privilege in the U.S. to be that. And I can't imagine, realistically, how this guy feels being a Muslim and gay. Because I know that if I was in that position, I would be so conflicted with how I feel about the world and what I actually believe, that I'd be so conflicted with, with, with what I'm, I'm thinking and what I believe, that I wouldn't be able to distinguish... Why would I believe is fucked up and stupid and contradicts who I am and who I am as a person? I genuinely, as, as you know, I know it's from MTV and I know it's shit, but I feel bad for that guy. I feel bad that he hasn't woken up to the realization that his own belief system is against him and hates him and would kill him in a heartbeat. That is what's truly sad to me. Anyways, guys, uh... Thank you for watching this video. This has been a Face Palm Sunday. I'm going to make a goal not to be so loopy in my next video for the sake of producing better content and not being so grammatically illiterate in this video because I've been, my brain has just been 
off the wall. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs ups help my channels. All my social media links are linked down below. Expand the description and you can see the video that I responded to along with all of my social media. Till next time, thank you for watching this video and have a fantastic Sunday.